This is PixelOS for the Realme GT2. I'll be covering two updates in this one video because I missed making a video on the last one. I was using the previous version for around two weeks and I'm using the current one for around two days now. Updates to the source include a rebase to Android 15 QPR2 release, meaning minor changes to the DND mode, which now has its own section in the settings also supports creation of new modes. Support for more app icons if you are using themed icons but it's not good enough yet as you can see Beam has its own uh, app icon still. But yeah it's an improvement over the previous implementation. Coming to the device specific changes it's mostly to do with audio. The audio delay when using headphone and the audio distortion when using speaker is both fixed right now. Now let's talk about the things that I like overall. I'm happy to report that the animation glitch has been fixed in the previous version itself. So the UI has the well-known pixel experience flow now. This means every animation is consistent and happens at the same pace which gives a very polished feeling. The screen also does not show any color shift to speak of. The screen, it does not use 90Hz but yeah there is no color shift at all. The ROM also looks very tidy. Everything from the status bar padding to the font size feels extremely optimized for this specific phone and it does not give the impression of a custom ROM which I really like which is very understated and uh, it feels like a ROM that is meant to be for this phone and it blends in very nicely. Banking apps work without root and Dolby Atmos was added in the previous version but there is a catch to this. I will talk about it in the next section. The ROM also exhibits less heating comparatively uh, when using 5G and hotspot compared to a different ROM which I was reviewing earlier. The battery life was also fine uh, with around 4 to 4.5 four hours of screen on time uh, even with a battery which only has 80% of its health remaining. So if you use your phone less intensely or if you have a healthier battery you will get more screen on time than me. The gaming performance itself is uh, very good I would say. Uh, it stayed almost at 60 fps most of the time and it did not heat up a lot which is very good. But again there is a small catch to this I will uh, talk about it in the next section. So let's move on to the things that are not so good but I am okay with. Uh, first off there is no 5G and refresh rate toggle in this ROM which is a big miss. Talking about the Dolby Atmos that was added in the previous update. Uh, by default the volume leveler option was turned on, I couldn't figure this out immediately but even when I was using the phone at around 25% of the volume it felt extremely loud, I thought something was wrong uh, until I found this out. Turning it off fixes the problem but I feel it should be turned off by default. Now this one I am not sure but uh, I feel that the assistant voice typing was there in a previous version of this ROM but is missing right now, not sure what happened to that. Coming to the cache regarding gaming, uh, this does have a gaming mode but it is the one by Google so it does not have a lot of features and it's not as good as the custom ones. Meaning auto brightness and night light has to be turned off manually. The adaptive refresh rate was also off somehow, this also I am not sure whether I have accidentally turned it off or whether it came off, it has to be verified. Coming to the bugs and uh, issues that I faced with this ROM, first off is the AI video recording in the stock, cam, uh, stock camera application which is not working. Screen off gestures are also not working. I have also seen a user reporting safety net integrity issue which means he was not able to sign into WhatsApp. I did not face this problem specifically, I am not sure. Uh, I updated from the previous version through the uh, OTA app. And to check this I have also uninstalled and reinstalled WhatsApp without uh, keeping the data. And I did not face this issue, I am not sure what it is exactly. If any of you guys have faced this issue, uh, please do drop a comment below. So overall, I feel that this is a very nice all-rounder ROM. Uh, in the previous version, I had only one problem which is the audio delay issue. Which means gaming was not really feasible in this ROM even though the performance was really good. But now they have managed to solve it and this ROM really comes very close to being almost perfect. The reason I like this ROM is that it blends in very well and it does not give the impression of a custom ROM. It really feels like something meant for this phone. The general performance is good, the gaming performance is good, it keeps temperatures under control and everything works almost flawlessly in this ROM you know. So I really hope they iron out the you know very few minor existing bugs in the next update like the AI video and the screen of gestures which will make it a very enticing ROM. It, with every update it is inching closer to perfection and I really like it. So I do recommend you guys to try out this ROM and if you have any questions or queries feel free to leave them in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one.